from Native Speakers Academy. It's late. It's very late. But not too late. I was wondering what is this obsession that we have with coming first? Everything is turned into a game, everything is turned into a competition. Everything is turned into winners and losers. Every single thing in school, every single thing in sport, every single thing in society, every single thing in politics. Every single thing in the club she joined. It's all about coming first, being first. Actually, I've just thought of something. Maybe if you're part of a hiking club, being first is perhaps not the main priority. But then maybe you want to be the biggest and best hiking club in the country, so that, that would negate that idea. But why is it so important? Why does it even matter? Of course, competition for the benefit of the individual person. It's not a bad idea. You want to play against somebody to improve your skills, to sharpen your reflexes. To get better than... Then do it, but... Why do we reward the winners so much? Climb to the top, get to the top. Climb over everyone, stand on everyone. And we'll give you a prize. And we'll put your pictures on the covers of the magazines. We'll make sure that you're respected and we'll categorize you and we will ensure that everyone loves you as long as you keep your mouth shut and don't say too much to upset the status quo of everything that exists. One of the reasons why top sports people are paid so much is to keep their mouths shut. Okay, you've entertained people. Entertain, detain, retain, maintain, whatever. Now, enjoy your nice house and your garden and your holidays. Shut up. Tell people who to vote for. Don't stand against the system. Don't point out the obvious. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. You've got your job to do. Your role to play. Your space to fill. Why 
is it so important to be the first to get to the top or get to the bottom? Or it translates into everything in society. The first to get the new piece of technology, the first to get on the bus. First to see something, to hear something, to know about something. And then the first to reject that thing. Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry about that pause. There was a deer that ran onto the road, stopped in front of my car and turned round and ran back off the road again. I feel my legs shaking. And my heart pounding slightly faster than normal. Jesus Christ, that was close. The other night, I was driving home, and there was a, there was a deer just lying dead, smack in the middle of the road. Obviously, some vehicle had run straight into it. And those deers are big, and they can make a huge mess. And that complete idiot behind you was overtaken. I guess they didn't see. Really. I guess they didn't know. I guess it could have been anything. But this is this is. Oh, ah, ah. They should build some uh, build some tunnel for the deers to go under the road, or maybe they should have some special kind of deer crossing where the deers can come to the side of the road and. Uh, There'll be a little, be a little button with a picture of a deer on it. And you can press the button, and there'll be some lights, and the lights will change to get the cars to slow down so the deers can cross the road. Okay. What do you think? Definitely did not want to be the first person this evening to be closely examining the. or carcass of one of our four-legged anthrop friends. Besides, never mind, never mind. <sighs> to be first, to be number one, be number one in the music charts to sell more albums than anyone else to sell more books than anybody else to be bigger faster fitter stronger harder longer the insane human desire to be better than ever Competition is great when it benefits everyone. Sports is just simulated warfare. I'm sure I've said that before. So. And if we can get everybody playing sport with each other, then maybe we can end the wars. Take your war out onto the rugby pitch or the football pitch. Or the cricket pitch, or the basketball court, or it doesn't really matter. Take it out onto the ice hockey rink, or... Or on 
into one of those, into one of those brutal international sports, like Australian football, which, as far as I can tell, has a funny shaped pitch, an odd shaped ball, and absolutely no rules. It's so wild that, that if you shoot and you miss, you can still get a point. If we could just channel our energy in that way, perhaps we could soak up and absorb the aggression that exists within society. There's, there's the skid marks on the road where I saw the last deer. Maybe they could put big fences down either side of the road or something. Or trampolines! And the deer could come to the side of the road and he could bounce and jump on a trampoline and fly over the road. Maybe some kind of crane, some kind of automatic crane to lift them up and carry them over and drop them on the other side. Or it doesn't even have to be automatic, you can employ someone. It could be a job for somebody, they can just sit there in the crane and wait for the deer to come along and lift them over to the other side. What do you think? Good idea? Tunnels for other animals, don't we? Rabbits, turtles, and crocodiles in other countries, of course. Obsessions. First, first the worst, second the best. That's what we used to sing in school. We came second. Knock, knock. Who's there? The guy who came second. The guy who came second. Who? Our whole society is designed that way. From. Poetry and literary competitions to Formula One car races to how many people visit the library or museum? Or how many trees are chopped down today? Then? If you can just get over it, beyond it. Just let it go. Or maybe there's something hardwired in our society. Maybe there's something hardwired in our world. Maybe there's something hardwired in us that requires. first or their country coming first or their representative coming first and how much effort and energy is what's the word expended 
exposed, used up, and trying to coach and train, develop the skills of human beings to To have a series of medals hung around your neck. How ridiculous this obsession. first, to be better than all, we just need to <laughs> let it go, which as always is much, much easier said than done. Let me know what you think, beware how to deal with it.